Welcome back to the Art and Design Newscast. This is your anchor, Isabella Michelena. Happy Caribbean Heritage and Pride Month, and happy belated AAPI and Jewish Heritage Month. Can you believe that this is the last newscast of the school year? Time has really flown, so let's make the most of the last installment. Let's begin with our lead story. On April 29th and 30th, our school hosted Fanfare, our very own annual pop culture convention, featuring guest speakers, cosplay contests, panel discussions, workshops, and portfolio reviews. Young artists even had the opportunity to sell their artwork, like me. Let's take a look. Wasn't that amazing? Comic-Con definitely has some competition. If you missed it, there's always Fanfare 2024. And now in place of our regular monthly art reel segment, we are instead going to show you some highlights from our end of year annual Spring Arts Festival, which took place from May 22nd through the 26th. The Spring Arts Festival celebrates and showcases work from all eight majors in our school. Enjoy. As a wise man once said, there are two kinds of people in the world. Those who attended the Art and Design Film Festival, and well, everyone else. On June 6th, our talented film majors hosted a star-studded red carpet event featuring a step and repeat, popcorn, candy, booths featuring industry partners GFS, RealWorks, Astoria Film Festival, and of course the amazing student films. Here is a recap. academics. All nine economics classes in our school partnered this year with Build.org, a nonprofit that teaches students entrepreneurial skills. Seniors and juniors worked in small groups to create professional pitches for a product they developed for a client. One group was awarded a $1,000 prize by a panel of judges from Adobe, Slack, Mullen Low Design Agency, and TikTok. Congratulations to Team Craft It for winning the competition. Here's more. Our project was a craft kit that compiles a bunch of art materials into just one box. 
enabling people to create different art projects, including watercolor, pottery, and embroidery. Our product completely differs from what's on the market right now because it is accessible, affordable, and easy to use. And it caters to individuals like our client Lamine, who is disabled and lives in a town where these kinds of materials aren't as accessible. The BUILD program taught us how to use our artistic skills, uh, which we know very well, with entrepreneurship to create a product that's not only beautiful, but also creates a change in the market. And now, here are some additional announcements. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Make sure to check out our Instagram, website, and YouTube channel if you are curious to see the previous newscasts. And wait, one more thing before I go. We are holding auditions to be a newscast anchor for next year. If you want to audition to do what I do, please email Nandi at nandid at nycstudents.net. Goodbye and good luck to all of our graduating seniors.